What's going on guys? This is Raph from Between Two Forks and back again this week with a brand new video. What do you guys think of the new setup? I have switched out the lens and gotten a tighter crop with a more shallow depth of field. Hopefully that's what I'm achieving here. Uh, I've gotten some feedback from some people saying, hey, your set can be a little bit busy sometimes. Maybe try cropping it in. And so I'm taking your feedback, trying this out, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you guys like the more wider, you know, include the whole set kind of look or do you guys prefer something like this i'm actually filming during the day today because it's president's day there's no work i'm here with my baby boy uh, so anyhow i've gotten you know quite a bit more followers and slash subscribers so for all of you guys that are following thank you thank you so much for your support and for all of you new viewers if you can hit that like button hit that subscribe button it'll mean the world to me and it will help us support all of this craziness um we're supposed to be posting the second part of the perfect sticky toffee pudding today. Unfortunately, I am not doing that. I know I've said unfortunately for like the past several weeks, uh, but I am actually going down to Gordon Ramsay's steak to have another go at their sticky toffee pudding to give it another taste test, uh, a little bit more analysis before I hit the kitchen again to try out how to perfect the sticky toffee pudding. So instead of doing the sticky toffee pudding video today, we're going to be doing a basic knife uh, maintenance video. Fucking mother... Hold on a second, guys. It's a, it's a fucking spam call. You see this? This is the type of shit I have to deal with when I'm filming. All right, guys. So a lot of people have asked me before, hey, Raph, what is your knife maintenance routine? My knife maintenance routine is extremely, extremely simple. Like, I keep it really basic, guys. After each use, I hand wash it lukewarm water, mild soap, hand dry it, dry it thoroughly, and I store my knife back up. Just that simple, like just that alone will help you maintain your knife so much better. Like I don't care what the manufacturer says or claims in their little fucking pamphlet saying, oh, you know, our knives or, you know, dishwasher safe, fuck that. Like just don't do it, like seriously. Your dishwasher is the one-way ticket to knife hell. Like, you stick your nice knife in your dishwasher, it will never be the same again. Do you know what happened to people who put their knives in dishwashers? Are you guys seriously gonna charge me? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm a goddamn Vietnam bag, goddammit! Don't fucking do it, man. Like, dishwashers have ruined so many knives. Like, if you think people gouging cans and shit have ruined knives, no, your dishwasher has so many knives compared to user error like that is you like no just don't do it stay away from the dishwasher okay it's really simple hand wash it hand dry it and store it back up like it takes some people are like oh we get so busy we just have to no you're not that fucking busy it takes 15 seconds to wash a fucking knife and another 15 to dry it you have 30 seconds to keep your knife safe okay like bullshit no one's that fucking busy you have 30 seconds okay that's just you you making an excuse Okay, that's just laziness. Don't be lazy when it comes to knife maintenance. Okay, you want to maintain a knife? Take care of it. Baby it. Baby them. Okay? Now, whenever your knife starts getting dull, you have several different options. Okay, you can take a raw piece of leather and strop it, which I do it sometimes. Or you have honing rods. Now, some people call it sharpening steels. Let's go ahead and get this fact out there right now. Your honing rods sharpen your knife okay no this thing doesn't put an edge back on your knife what it does what it does do is it hones your edge okay what happens when your edge this is a brand new straight very sharp edge with use you know with some milder steel it starts rounding over okay softer steel start rounding over so what the honing rod does is that it straightens it back out so now your knife is sharp again, okay? But after so many uses with honing rods, this is a cheapy $5 honing rod, and this is something a little bit nicer. This is a diamond embedded honing rod, which is better for knives that are high in Rockwell hardness and things like that. Like it just helps hone the blade a lot easier. It's also, it's also really pretty. And I don't have one myself, but the ceramic honing rods also work really, really well. So those are several honing rod options that you can have to help add to your maintenance kit, your knife maintenance kit. So once in a while, I'll hit my knife 
hit it a couple of times on each side with a honing rod, which some people say you want to do it like this. Some people also say to just stick this straight down on the table so that way your edge is not even coming anywhere close to your hands, which whichever way you're more comfortable with. If you're a little bit more shaky about sharp edges, stick it on your on your table. It's nice and solid and then just start honing it on both sides. Okay? Super, super simple. Like you can't really, like just don't like sideways grind your fucking like edge off of it, you know? Just nice and easy. Just follow the angle of the edge. Just follow the angle of the edge. It's really just that simple. Okay? But once your honing rod stops working is because will eventually stop working because the edge will completely wear off and it just doles back up and when it's a rounded edge you can't really cut anything with it you know it's completely wore off that's where your sharpening stones come in okay your sharpening stones will actually grind away material on your blade and put an edge back onto a dull knife now I know there's so many sharpening gadgets, gadgets and all that kind of shit out there. You know, they have the electronic ones, they have the ones that you have the two wheelies that you run it through. I haven't had much luck with any of them, to be honest with you. Like, I've always had better luck with just Japanese whetstones. I have two king stones right here, which are really, really popular stones. They're great uh, because they're cheap. You know, they're very affordable. They, you can find them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. There will be affiliate links, so if you do decide to pick up a whetstone or click those links down below and buy something, a small proceed of it will come and help my channel, uh, but it's like a fraction of a fraction, so it's still really appreciated. So anyway, I have a 1,000 grit stone and then a 6,000 grit stone, and after I get done sharpening, I hit it with a raw piece of letter, strop it, and it creates a razor sharp edge. Okay, like I've never had an issue with it. Uh, if you want me to create a sharpening video, I can. I'm not like some sharpening expert, but if you want that, comment down below. I am more than happy to, you know, show you my sharpening routines. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's really basically it for for my, my sharpening video or, or my basic knife maintenance video is my honing rods doesn't work, I sharpen it. But your basic, most basic knife maintenance is really your daily care of your knife. So that is my basic maintenance, uh, knife maintenance video for you guys. And I will see you guys next week, hopefully with a recipe for the perfect sticky toffee pudding. All right, bye.